hello everyone. Welcome back to Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Super Mario Place. I my name is Haley, and we just said a recap. Somehow we landed in an ocean made of cranberry juice. We worked our way through the ocean. Past some cherries and onto a beach made of cheese. We took out uh, Iggy Sandcastle and now it's on to the, the Grapevine Valley. Jungle. Alright, so this is the first level of, of Grapevine Valley. I really like the, the uh, graphics in this one. They look very colorful, a lot better than some of the, even the original ones. So far, I have not had a single death. That could change, because the difficulty does increase in this world. So I am planning, to, I think I'm gonna, play, gonna try to do a Swordless Legend of Zelda run. I have whoa, and there's a there's our first death in the run. I I, I haven't made it all the way through Swordless. You can't actually beat the game Swordless. You. You you can't you need the sword to to to, to kill Ganon to actually make him appear. It's it's very amazing how far you can get without the sword. The the first thing that you do is you have to get the get some money, and then you have to get the candle, get the blue candle, and oh, what's that? I've been practicing the uh, Swordless Zelda run, and what? And there's one enemy in the game, one type of enemy that that could potentially destroy the run, and that is Dark Knights. And the reason for that is you can only kill them with either with a sword or with bombs. You can use a wand too. But you don't get that until until level six, which, which is very late on. They're, they're in level three. You you have because you have to get the raft, and they're also in level five. Get the whistle, and, and then then after level five, you skip six and go to seven. You skip six because seven is a lot easier. It's far easier than level six because of the whiz ropes in six. I'm running out of time. It should be the end though. This is a very difficult hack. It's very well made, though. Ooh, what's this? You know, I am kind of kind of concerned about the possibility of of, cop, of content IDs from Nintendo. 
I was reading a, a, a Reddit about it, a link to let Reddit that I found regarding it. And Nintendo's been very backwards about their uh, policy on Let's Play videos. But I think because I'm going to be playing games that are a lot older, I should be okay. I hope. I believe I'm near the end. In my practice run, what I did, at this part, I just like it to just get, just jump off and, and I use the iframe to get across here. I have to go around. So I, I am still in, in Florida. I was living in, in DC and was staying with someone, with someone who turned out to be a hoarder. He didn't keep a whole lot of trash, like like garbage, like food stuff. It was mostly construction material and just a, a whole lot of mail. Then I decided to come down here and I got a job at SeaWorld. Although that's not really working, didn't really work out. I had a supervisor there who was an idiot. Her, her name is Raina, and I was I, I inhaled something. I told I told her that she didn't call. First, it took her three minutes to call first aid, and I ended up going to the hospital. And and I went to HR the next day. Well, HR didn't even do anything. They said they did, but they wouldn't t tell me what they did. They just said it's been addressed, and but that wasn't good enough for me. I thought about suing them, but I probably will. I'm not sure. Not sure if I can do it from be being in another state, because I'm headed back to Virginia. Cause it's just so hot here in Florida. I mean, I do. There's some things I do like here, but I, I kind of want to go back. Alright, so I want to do something, so I'm going to pause the game, and I'm going to make a safe state. Remember in the first video, I talked about about the sprites changing to the uh, Mario's, and the uh, Piranha Plant changing to uh, Pumpkins? I'm wondering if uh, this triggers it. So I've made a safe state. It, if it does trigger it, I am going to reload that safe state because I don't want that because they have changed the the sprites for the Koopa Troopas. All right, let's see. Green Yoshi corner. So there is an, a Yoshi there. The Green Switch Palace is a couple is in that, the level that's directly south of the uh, castle. Alright, so let's go back here. No, that didn't do it. Good. There's a another level that I, ha that I haven't unlocked. It's called pa the Pasta Factory, and I just... It is a secret level that you ne need to get need to get the cave and then get Yoshi to get to. Th then you fly to, to a key. 
maybe that's the one that that, that triggers the, this the sprite change. One thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to use save states. The, the reason I made a save state before I went to that uh, secret exit is because I don't want... If that was going to trigger the sprites, sprites to change, I did not want to do that because it would be irreversible. This is the first, I believe this is the first auto-scroller in, 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 of the game. I really like, like, the custom graphics. I think it's just so, very nice. Okay. So, this is as far as we can go. So, we've got a dice block here. Coins will turn into solid blocks if you hit a, a, a blue P-switch. Doing this can open some new paths. So, I found out that there is a, a checkpoint here. And there's the other end of that. So let's take that and hit it. Got it. So, on last Sunday, I went to uh, Universal Islands of Adventure. They didn't have as many rides as I hoped they were, they were going to have, and I, I'm going to go back but before I leave. Oh, shit. I'm going to watch out. Okay, I need I need to get that. And they changed the fire flower too. It looks like a I don't know some kind of sweets. That's what it looks like. You know, another reason that, that I prefer Super Mario World, I, and not Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Three to to uh, Super Mario World is because of. All right, I gotta get off here. It's because, okay, so, so in Mario Brothers 1, when you would get hit, if you had a fire flower and you would get hit, you would revert, revert to small Mario. Well, in Super Mario Brothers 3, oh, it's lag, they changed it, so, it was changed, so let's say you had, a, you had a fire flower and you got hit, instead of going back to being small Mario, you would go to, back to Super Mario, Big Mario. And then you got hit again, you would revert to Small Mario. Well, in Super Mario World, they changed it. So, so when you get hit, you revert to, if you have a Fire Flower or a Cape, you revert to Small Mario, which, which basically, it, you have one le less hit you can take. They did add the, the box thing, but I would much prefer to to to, to be able, be able to ha have be able to get get hit twice before dying. This this area looks really good. All right, I'm gonna jump on here and get it. Got it. I would much prefer to get, to be able to get, get hit twice and then die than the way Super Mario one is. And I'm, uh, I'm not so fond of, the, of, of, of most, most of the music in Super Mario World. I, I mean, there are some tracks, like the underwater track is nice. I love the ending theme. It's Mario, the Mario games really, they, they've really nailed, they really nailed 
you know how to make really good ending themes. All right, so this is our first vertical level. And if you now watch the background, as I climb, climb, the uh, background will, will gradually will scroll slower. Oh, what the hell is that's a glitch? That's weird. Will gradually scroll. Watch out, watch out. We'll gradually scroll. That's known as parallax scrolling. Which is something that, that it, that you don't always, you're not always going to notice if, if you're not paying attention, but it, it adds for a nice effect. I know the Donkey Kong Country series does this. It's it's nicely done in Tropical Freeze. And I have a, a, a couple of, I have I have Yoshi's Island Yoshi's Woolly World, which I think is a really good game. But Tropical Freeze is is a solid game. I definitely love it. If you if you don't have it, I strongly suggest picking it up. The graphics are nice and music is amazing. There's a lot of stuff to define. And in regards, Donkey Kong Country has become a lot more with Retro Studios taking it over. It's become it's become a a lot more like Yoshi's Island. Where there's there's an emphasis on, on on collecting the items rather than just getting to the end of the of the level. That's another game I, I like. Uh, I know that people really give Yoshi's Island Yoshi's New Island uh, some hate, but it's it's a really good game. The the. The collectibles are very well hidden. I had to go through the, the first level a couple times to find everything. And Yoshi's Woolly World is great too. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I definitely have a lot of a, a, a lot of fun with playing uh, Tropical Freeze. Let's see what other games I have. I've got Mario Kart 8. I got Smash. I was a little bit disappointed that there wasn't the the, the adventure mode that Brawl had. Because the Brawl adventure mode was just I'm running out of time. Which is some was just amaz just really amazing and it the adventure just felt very long in a good way and, and just had an epic feeling to it. And we reached the top and you notice that, that the, the background has trolled. Also, I missed a, uh, a feather. Let's check the time. Are we? Yeah. 18 minutes. Alright. Alright. So, I, I thought about recording in full screen mode, but the videos on YouTube are not are not in the ratio of, of four by uh, three. So what I did was I got a background that's related to the game that we're playing. This this one is Mar of course it's Mario. And so I got a Mario related background. So because the, the videos will be sixteen by nine. So I didn't want that to be bl black, and I didn't want to be. And I didn't want to have to. I wanted to put something in there, but I didn't want to have to do it with the video editing software, which I have to. I have to get something because I used to use Final Cut Pro 10. I don't think those were in the, the original game either. 
That's custom graphic, too. Custom enemy. So, when, when I do uh, Zelda, I'll have a, have, a, have a wallpaper for that, too. Just didn't want, didn't want to be black. See what I mean about the having having fire flower and then going back to shit, I'm gonna die. Then going back to being small Mario. Fall in a pit, you're gonna die anyway. However. Okay. I did actually it took me some tries to get through this. This one. We're at 21 minutes. I think I've had I've had the most deaths on, on this level. I died once in the first one. All right, there we go. And about three or four times on this one. Okay. Got it. It's a tricky jump. And if you fall on that pipe down there, you can't. I don't think you can get back up. The Wells Fargo lost my ID, so, so to get back to Virginia, I might be staying in, in, in D.C. for a little while. You ha I'm going to have to t take Greyhound, which is going to be a long trip. So, I'm taking a bus. And you can only have so much stuff on the bus. It's like two suitcases, and they charge you fifteen dollars for the second one. Train requires an ID, which trains all trains always preferable. Whoa! There's a spring up here. I'm gonna take the secret exit out. All right, so with this with this key, we're done with that level. We still gotta do the nor get the normal exit to to get to the castle, but we're gonna take this switch and we're gonna go get get these coins. I didn't go into that. But there's one up over right there. But coins are better. Alright, but with, with with this, we're gonna end this episode here. And then on the next video, we're we're gonna we're gonna finish up Grapevine Jungle. And with that, it should allow us to save. And there we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, remember to show that, that subscribe button the love deserves. And give this video a like. And we'll, we'll see you next time for, for some more Super Mario Place. And look out for the 
through the Legend of Zelda run. Let's play. I, I, I may do that one swordless. It will definitely be swordless in the beginning. Or maybe midway through. I haven't decided yet. I may just decide to get the sword at one point. Get the, get the white sword. Because, and just disable the A button. Just to get through level 5. Alright, that's it everyone. See ya. I, I, my name is Haley.